our Director of Crime Intelligence has continued to get complaints against uh, all complaints of misuse of national IDs. But we want to, to warn money lenders against taking national IDs as collateral. It has become a, uh, a habit. This is something that we talked about some time back. But it still remains uh, a habit amongst money lenders, especially those who give out to uh, make micro loans uh, to members of the public who don't have security. So they are basically uh, uh, attaching uh, national IDs. And this is, it is uh, illegal and it is also criminal. So uh, as the police, together with our sister security agencies, we are concerned against the increased misuse of national IDs as collateral, especially in Wuenge district. We've gotten so many complaints from Busoga region Wuenge, and in the districts of Dokolo and Amolatar in the Lango sub-region, uh, together with other districts in Central. As you are all aware, national IDs have no economic or monetary value and are supposed to be used exclusively for identification purposes. Uh, therefore, any act of confiscation, removing, taking, or handing over a national ID as collateral is illegal. Uh, and uh, it, uh, because it denies the owner of the national ID the ability uh, to use it uh, for identification purposes and in the many other transactions. Uh, where the national ID is required for is required, and even in movements while traveling uh, uh, within the country. So, we'd like to call upon anyone whose national ID was used as collateral or confiscated to report to the nearest police for further assistance. Uh, under the Registration of Persons Act, Section 77B. It is an offense uh, if a person without authority deprives or dispossesses a holder of his or her national identification card or alien's identification card. Then uh, there are also other offenses uh, whereby if a person unlawfully keeps or takes possession of a national identification card, or aliens identification card uh, uh, that belongs to another person. It is an offense. And uh, uh, it is also an offense if somebody is found in possession of more than one national identification card or aliens identification card that is intended to show the person's identity. So these money lenders, especially those informal ones, who keep on collecting these, these uh, national IDs, if we find you with them, you just know that you're going to be charged under uh, the Registration of Person Persons Act, Section 77. And uh, a person who commits this offense and is convicted is liable to a fine not exceeding 48 currency points. That is about 960,000 uh, shillings, or imprisonment not exceeding three years, or both the fine and the imprisonment at the same time. And even to remind these uh, micro lenders that uh, the microfinance guidelines have always, uh, that have been issued out to them, uh, they have indicated that a money lender shall not take national IDs, a passport, a warrant card or other documents uh, as collateral, including uh, ATM cards, uh, a bank uh, savings card, and so on and so forth. So they should uh, really take, uh, take note of that. <coughs>